now. Here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 futurecast. So yes, we still have to deal with all the snow mounds out there, but look at that temp, Michelle. Finally, we're seeing temps in the 30s. We haven't seen that in a little while. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of melting today. Not quite as much as yesterday, probably, yeah. because without the sunshine. And uh, we are, of course, checking out how much snow we've picked up. We've been mentioning since yesterday the fourth snowiest January on record. And this is a number that's from December 1st through today, 40.9 inches at TF Green Airport. That's almost 26 inches more than normal for up to this date and of course we still have a ways to go in winter and the amount of snow that we picked up just in the last couple of weeks and the weight of it. Of course we've heard in the news about the uh, roof collapse, the elementary school in Foster and uh, Allison sending in this picture of a carport here that collapsed uh, over her trailer and uh, Hopefully that is not a scene that's going to be played out, but something we do have to watch for in the coming days as the weight of the snow is just so heavy. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Uh, scanning the skies, these are just light snow showers and flurries passing through. I don't expect... Uh, anything in the way of accumulations, maybe a dusting and some of the heavier bursts, but it's all very light falling in dry air. 35 the temperature in New Bedford right now, 30 in Providence, 34 degrees. So yeah, a little melting going on in spots. Here's the satellite and radar composite, and we can see these snow showers off to our west. They're kind of spinning through with this weak disturbance. A lot of them will dry up as they fall into uh, air that the humidity right now is only at 63%, so fairly low. And 30 degrees, the temperature right now in the capital city. So this afternoon, keeping that flurry in the forecast, about 33 for a temperature at 3 o'clock. And 5 o'clock, we're back down to 31. Future cast here shows some additional snow showers. They're going to be kind of off and on today and tomorrow. They're back-to-back, -back, fairly weak systems, although the one that has the potential to give us maybe an inch of snow would be the one for Saturday. And you can see in the future cast here through the nighttime, an occasional speck of blue in spots 5.30 tomorrow morning, getting your weekend started. Uh, skies partly to mostly cloudy. And in the afternoon hours is when we have our uh, best chance of seeing some snow showers pass through here. In fact, later afternoon and evening. So temperatures today, a slow climb up to around the freezing mark or a degree or two warmer in spots. Mostly cloudy, kind of a cold day. The average high should be up in the upper 30s. And we're only low 30s for today. Down to the coast, 32 in Ashaway, flurries, cloudy, cold day, Newport at about 34. Northern Rhode Island, upper 20s to lower 30s, just a few flurries here as well. And we'll see the threat of a flurry down into Westport, Swansea, mostly cloudy, Seekonk at about 33, and Middletown at 34 degrees. This weekend, snow showers again on Saturday and Saturday evening, a high of about 34. Behind the system, we get a nice little shot of fresh cold air dry air too. So we get the sunshine back, but the temperature is going to be a little bit cooler on Sunday and again on Monday. Uh, that brings us to the middle of next week where our computer models are once again showing the potential for an east coast winter storm. For us, the timing appears to be sometime between Tuesday night and Thursday morning. It's too early to say the track and intensity and and how much of, say, snow, sleet, or rain will fall, but it's something that we will be watching as we get closer to that time. You can get your updated future cast 24-7 on the Pinpoint Weather Station, Cox Digital Cable Channel 125. I know a lot of people say, oh, here we go again. Oh, I know. Well, we can at least enjoy a relatively calm weekend. Yes. So there we go. Thanks, Michelle.